Welcome to the Redback Revival Sing Along Television Show. We're so glad that you've tuned in today. And we're going to sing out of this old Church of God Redback hymnal. And this choir is all geared up and ready to sing this old song. Copyright 1927 by somebody named L.E. Jones. Well, I don't know who that is, but we're sure going to sing their song. There is power in the blood. If you got one of these old books, grab it. Turn to page 390 and we'll sing There's Power in the Blood. Revival Sing Along. I hope you're enjoying these uh, songs that we have for you today. This is one of the old convention style songs. It's the Stamps Baxter Music and Printing Company. This was copywritten in 1942 and it was published in a little songbook called The Lasting Peace. And it was written by the old uh, songwriter Albert E. Brumley. He wrote so many of these great songs. Uh, probably his most famous one was The I'll Fly Away. But, uh, and then we're going to sing uh, just one of the most beautiful songs in this book, page 305, The Old Rugged Cross. And uh, I tell you what, this song blesses my heart. And I, uh, if you just uh, need to just pull up close to the cross of Calvary today while we sing that, I just invite you to uh, just sing along with us and worship. But we're going to start with number 28. It's a grand and glorious feeling.
Good swing, good swing. The old rugged cross. What are you doing? I got to, I got to, 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 to fulfill a dream that I've had my whole life thanks to you. Really? What's that? I got to sing right beside Jerry, J J that guy in the red right there, Jackie Fortner. That, that yeah. guy, that one. Yeah, he looks like he ought to be at the Barnum and Bailey No, he would be nice to him, be yeah. nice to him. He got just—he looked like the ring. I started to say the ring leader. Ring master. <laughs> ring master. Ring master. That's yeah. what you're shooting for. You know, it's amazing, Charlie, how God will speak to us if we're tuned in. You know, if, if we're tuned in, and it don't matter where we're at. I, you know, I was a police in North Georgia for 16 years, and I can remember one day I was going going to lunch, and I was on my way, and I'm going through this school zone, and over the top of this hill pops this little red car, bing, 64 miles an hour. I'm in a 25 mile an hour school zone. Kids are in school. All right, that's too fast, right? I mean, that's too fast, kids in school. So I thought, all right, well, I spun around real quick, pulled over the car, had every intention of walking up to the car and saying, ma'am, 64 and a 25 is just too fast. You need to slow down. There's youngins in school. 
About the time I get to the back tire of the car, that window drops about that far and boop, out pops a driver's license and an insurance. And this lady says, I know the chief and the mayor, you need to hurry and do what you got to do. Yeah? I said, okay, I'll be right back. So I go back and I sit down in the car and I scratched out a little thing. And then I listened to a song on the radio, you know. And then I scratched out another one. Is this story going anywhere? And we're moving along. We're moving along. And then I called my mama just to see how daddy was doing at home, you know. And so anyway, about 47 minutes later, I go walking back up to the car. She said, I thought I told you I was in a hurry. I said, ma'am, I did the best I could. I had trouble with my shapes and colors in little school. So, you know, I did the best I could. And as I am explaining her five citations to her, she looks at me and she said, I thought that you didn't write pretty girls tickets. And I said, I don't. If you would, just sign right here because I got to get things going. Oh, Joe. But wait a minute, wait a minute. But you know, I turned around on my heels, Charlie, and y'all listen to me. I thought, mm, I got you. That's what you get for being mean and nasty, you old hateful thing. Yeah. Now, about the time I got back to my car, it hit me in the head. What did your grandmama teach you? about having your vengeance when you was growing up in Sunday school. Vengeance is mine, yeah. saith the Lord, right? Yeah. Charlie, that convicted me. I sat right there and I prayed in that patrol car and I said, Lord, I know that in your word you say that vengeance is yours. So, Lord, I just want to thank you for using me to get your vengeance on that nasty old woman that just pulled off from Oh, here. Joey. We worked together the rest of the day. Me and Lord got a whole sack full of it. Oh. It was good. Oh. Yeah, it's true. Go back over there. Go back up here and stand beside Jackie Ford. I like him better. <laughs> Billy Lord, come out. And uh, Thank you, this is a very dear friend of mine. He's going to play this trumpet for the old song Amazing Grace, page 57.
The story goes that Augustus Montague Toplady, born in England in 1740, wrote this time-honored hymn during a torrential storm. He was traveling along a gorge in Burrington Combe and sheltered under a jagged cleft near the gorge. Top Lady was a staunch Calvinist and was well known for a long time feud with the founder of the Methodist Church, John Wesley. Strangely enough, he eventually converted to the Methodist Church and began writing for several literary endeavors. Reminiscing about the event a few years earlier on, on several occasions he would use the term Rock of Ages as an endearing term for the Almighty God. He based that providential title on Exodus 33:22, where God put Moses in the cleft of the rock, covered him with his hand till he had passed by. Top Lady also pinged off the scripture in Psalm 18, the Lord is my rock, my deliverer, my refuge, my shield, my horn of salvation, and my stronghold. Well, glory. It seems to be the practice of the day, a well-known hymn composer, Thomas Hastings, saw one of Top Lady's essays and immediately crafted a melody to complement the lyrics. And we still sing it today, pretty much just as Mr. Hastings wrote it. What a comfort it is to sing these plaintive words today in the midst of a world filled with such uncertainty. Would you join with us now and sing along with the choir? Turn to page 82 in the old red back and make the rafters ring there in your place of viewing as we all sing Rock of Ages, Cleft for Me. beautiful, beautiful hymn of the church there, Rock of Ages. The sweet spirit in this studio as these precious people have gathered here to sing these songs. I've heard it said that we don't sing these songs because they're old. We sing them because they're good. And that the truth in these hymns still have power today. There's a lot, a lot of good new songs a lot of bad old songs. So we don't sing them because they're old. We sing them because they're good. And we love any music that uplifts our Lord. Well, it's been good being on the uh, show with you again today. hope we've sung something that's blessed you. And we're going to sing page 199, Where the Soul Never Dies. And then we'll close out today with uh, page uh, 235, He Set Me Free.
he set me free.